Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another SSI analysis video. And today's one's going to be a little bit different, kind of like the God Leader video. So it's going to be in that same format. So I'm going to be going from the bottom to the top, just straight away. And I'm also going to be comparing the normal versions to the Rebirth, just to compare how much they actually change. But in third place comes the Agility Super Saiyan Goku. His leader skill now provides an additional attack boost to STR types. The only real thing that changes for his passive skill is that he gives an additional 20% attack to all allies. And his links don't really change for the most part, they do give him the rebirth link. But I definitely think that the most disappointing thing about this card is that he keeps the huge damage modifier. He definitely had a lot of potential, they could have easily given him extreme. But instead they decided to go with huge. If you are lacking any agility type units or you are wishing to basically make a bridge between two units then he is definitely a unit that's going to help you do that. But I definitely feel like this unit had way more potential. They could have easily given him free key and just kept the HP restriction. But instead they decided to give him an additional 20% attack to all allies. In second place comes the int Super Saiyan Gohan. He has a 5% increase for his leader skill. He still causes supreme damage and he gets an additional 20% attack added to his super attack. And the only link that they gave him was the rebirth link. So obviously the letdown here is that he doesn't have any top tier links such as shopping speed or prepared for battle. He will definitely be a very hard hitting unit on mono in teams. However, I feel like however, I definitely feel like the lack of key can definitely let him down, especially when the majority of in type units share the shopping speed link. But it's definitely possible to implement him into a mono in team. It will require more units that aren't in an optimal in team but it's definitely possible to help him achieve his full potential. So this obviously means that in first place comes the STR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. He does have a very nice leader skill that gives free key to STR tech and physical types. He gets a 10% increase on his super attack, which in my opinion is definitely a bit of a letdown. And they gave him the rebirth thing. So straight away you can clearly tell that they really didn't bother giving many of these units any new links. I feel like they should have given this Vegeta a 20% increase instead of just a 10 However, leader skill aside, I definitely feel like Vegeta's better, firstly because his passive skill activates when key is 6 or more, whereas the int Super Saiyan Gohan only activates when he super attacks, and he also has the prepare for battle link, which obviously allows him to link up with all the top tier units. Well that is it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm currently experimenting with different styles for this type of video, so definitely let me know which style you prefer, this one or the original. But if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more draggable content. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.